Greetings, Internet. I'm Richie James, aka Warlord UK of the Northern Drunk Tank, and welcome back to Why I Love. Well, where we left off last time, obviously, just finished Sonic 3, now we're going to tackle Sonic and Knuckles. A much harder and longer game, in my personal opinion, as you'll probably see, I'll fail a lot. But first things first, we're going to head into here. And goodbye, Chaos Emeralds. So now, obviously for the remainder of the game I can no longer turn into Supersonic. I now have to uh, collect all these emeralds. Good thing about these, you get to pick and choose which level you want to attempt first. I'm just going to go from left to right I think with these anyway. As I say last time, they're not too difficult, just get to be impatient and trying to keep you cool because obviously with the speed you can panic a lot and well, once you start panicking, everything just goes down from there. I got to out Sonic and Knuckles, it was, um, it was the first game to introduce something called lock-in technology, where you could actually plug another cartridge in, which I mentioned in the last game, which caused me to be able to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you just played the game on its own, you could only actually play as Sonic or Knuckles. Tails was not available or in the game at all as a character. But obviously because I'm playing straight through from Sonic 3, I've got Tails there with me. Jump over there. And it got a higher marks as well, a lot of praise for the uh, locking technology. But I think it was the only game that actually existed that did it. There we go, nice Super Emerald to join my collection. I always used to think these were called Hyper Emeralds for some reason. Probably because uh, it gives you Hyper Knuckles and Hyper Sonic, if you collect them all. Now I probably won't get all these emeralds in my first playthrough, so I'll probably do some clever editing at some point. And throw in the ones that I miss before I finish the game. Just because I've, in all the years playing this, I've never actually found where I can collect all the emeralds from. I'll get as many as I can, which is usually around five-ish. And then maybe before the secret stage I'll uh, go ahead and put in the last two so you can see the complete finale when I've got all the uh, super emeralds. Like I said, I'm hoping to get, this will probably have to be split into two videos because like I said this is a lot longer and I'm probably going to die a fair bit at certain points and I'll probably get stuck like, like with those, those little swings that you saw me go on then. They actually uh, do cause a lot of trouble for me. <laughs> Just trying to get that timing down, man, you know. But we'll work our way through, as always. Oop, not enough speed there. There's not much I can add on really, gameplay wise, because it is basically same control, same everything as what Sonic 3 was. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, I do. I'm not. Like, on Sonic 3, I can just do that blindfolded pretty much. You say. Sonic and Knuckles, I do struggle with a bit. Still, absolutely love the game. Can't. Can't fault that. I wait for him to come down and just start beating crap out of him. You can't actually really hit him when he's turned away from you. Like I just did there because that causes um, the jetpack to hit you. It's kind of like in the first boss, if you had a, in the first Sonic 3, in the first boss there, if you had a fire shield, it wouldn't affect you at all. And I say some of the bosses on this game were absolutely well designed. I mean, there's actually bosses where you don't touch them at all, you've just got to outsmart them. But obviously, you'll see them later on in the game. Of course, at this point, Knuckles still doesn't trust us. He still thinks we're the enemy. <laughs> it's very clever how they actually told a story without actually telling you anything other than what was in the booklet at the time. Of course, these days, do I have to have the booklet on me? Oh, these are annoying. As you can see, you've got to keep pulling down and get up, but it sort of holds you down if you've got tails. Because tails sort of has a delay on the buttons you press. And I can become very... Oh. 
I will be a lot more reckless on this because I don't have supersonic, so there's no reason for me to try and collect like 50 rings or anything. No spring there, never mind. How long do you have to do the old trick with Sonic? Make sure you've got one ring with you at all times and try not to lose it for love no money, you'll be alright. Oh. And this one really does cause me a lot of trouble. See, no. I take you a couple of tracks this. Get off there and try again. And that's another fail. Jesus Christ. I'm just not doing well on this. Oh, well, that'll do. I was meant to go forward, but oh well. Right, but wait, I'm up there now. I'm sure I've missed one of the super rings though, because I usually get about three in the first two acts on this game. I know there's one coming up any second now. I think it's, yeah, it's just here behind him. There you go, boom. Time to attempt Super Emerald number two. And off we go. Oh, this one was quite a clever one. You have to make sure you jump over at the end of a lot of them. If you wanted to get the perfect, you'd have to jump into the centre and collect the rings there. Which of course made it even more dangerous because one missed time on the jump. And you're going to get knocked back into your own red ball. So these are put the Sonic 1 cartridge into Sonic Knuckles and... Because it'll just give you like a shed ton of these like little bonus levels and I'm just playing for fun because they were really addictive. By far the best way to get the Chaos Emeralds in any Sonic game in my opinion. Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 were just really annoying. Oh, well, Sonic 2 did have the advantage where you could um, get uh, another Super Emerald. But you could pretty much get Super Sonic within like the first two acts if you knew where every checkpoint was and had enough rings. Sorry, just having a drink there. Well, I can. And that's two down. Bing! Thank you. See, already I know of this one because we're actually near the end of uh, Act 2 now. And I could have sworn I used to get three. I don't even think I used to get four. I can't remember. I probably should have pulled up a guide or something just to find all the locations, so I could have done it all in one run for you, but it wouldn't have been as an honest of a playthrough then. So I'm pretty much doing all this off memory. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I, I, this is why I warned you that I'm not so good at Sonic at Knuckles compared to. Uh, Sonic 3, because I will take a lot of hits. This boss is good. Always make sure you get those few hits in the beginning. Just makes this next bit a lot shorter. Oh, lost me rings. Ah oh, well. This boss isn't too difficult. Just about making sure you either jump or don't jump when you need to. And could you get those hits in the beginning? He only takes a few hits and he's been beaten. Bosh. Right, on to the next level. Again, another good thing about Sonic and Knuckles, just like Sonic 3, this soundtrack was just amazing. So many memorable tunes. And across that. Oh. <laughs> Should have known. Take another hit. Always make sure you land on top of them. Now, those little speedy fire things actually come in quite useful later as well, as you'll see. They become springs and switches and stuff like that. Yeah, take your time out of here. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is start rushing now because it's a straight death drop below you. Oh, easy now. And then fireball across. <laughs> and as always, once you've got fire shield, fire doesn't hurt you anymore. Oh. Wasn't meant to do that. 
I'll try and get out of here as soon as possible then. Get, nope, get down. Yeah. You know, when you actually want to leave a level, it's blooming annoying. When you don't want to, you'll land straight in there. Oh, well, it works again. Oh, overshot it there. And those things will shoot out various things like rings. Some of them have nothing at all. Others have enemies. So just be wary when you jump on them. Um, first example of this turning into a spring. You leave it in a second and it shoots you up. Try and jump up here. <sighs> What's it up there? I always watch those fellows sliding platforms on the floor. There's certain points where they can uh, hinder your progress. I think I will probably be able to remember them all, I hope. But uh, if I don't, at least you'll see me uh, do another fail. Across there. No need to worry about the fire. Get across that because that does shoot enemies out. Another spring. Right, Watch out for the missiles. I still love doing these. Oh, it's not spinning. Strange. <laughs> I think it's a graphical glitch. <laughs> oh well. If you do that, you get an extra knife, which is always lovely. And just below here, usually, just like, I think I went too fast and you might not have noticed it, but there was another thing that shoots you back, so. If you don't jump all over it, it just keeps bringing you back. And for a while, it can be quite annoying if you don't time that jump just right. The fire shield does help you there, thankfully. And down we go. And then we go to the right here, because uh, should be an oh, the down button always lets you know. An invincibility box, and run. And I'll time this one nicely. There we go. I may have to start playing this on uh, with a keyboard instead because the 360 controller I'm using just it doesn't want to play ball. <laughs> Every time I try and do spear attacks, as you probably notice with Sonic 3, I occasionally just don't do something right. That's because the down button just decided to give up and I jump instead of spin. Easy does it now. And there we go. It agreed with me that time. Round we go, and hit the spring. I hope since last week as well, some of you have actually been able to check out uh, Mega Driver. Oh god, sorry. Just trying to talk and do this at the same time doesn't make it easy. <laughs> Looking to get out of that without dying. Still got the warm ring. I always remember to hold on to at least one ring. Those missiles can be quite infuriating. <laughs> oh, standing now, take your time. Now, I used to get stuck in here quite a lot as a kid. Because, like, where do you go? Like, it's the end of the line. No, nope, you just stand here and wait for the missiles to keep hitting that one spot there. And eventually, it opens up and you can carry on. I never knew that. <laughs> I think someone else showed me that, but I can't remember who. And here we have the first boss where you don't actually hit them yourself. You stand on the top and let it hit itself. Deals with why you hit yourself, kind of boss. Mm -hmm. and one more should do it. Nope. And it's counted. That's it. I did an extra hit where I didn't need to. And that's Act 1 done. <laughs> right. Off we go again. Now, this is where you start getting... I get muddled up because uh, pretty much all of these can move. There's a lot of them like that where sometimes the right one isn't the you know, first one that moves. You've actually got to try and wait and pick the right one. There's also one section where the middle one moves and if you want to cut the rings, you, you don't jump over it and cut the rings before you go down. 
I'm sure. I think I'll probably end up going around that way anyway. Oh. Was not meant to do that. Damn. Oh. Bugger. <sighs> that tricky thing, I will keep saying a lot in this game. It's much to love it, this one was a lot tougher. For some reason I've never memorized it as well as Sonic 3. Grab me. Get me across there and down. I run away. Oh, oh hang on. Platform there. Ah. I'm gonna wait there for it. Come on. Peek out now. There it is. Now we'll start jumping across. This usually makes you quite uh, dizzy. You start spinning around a lot. Ow. Rude. Jump down here, and then just round, and around, and around, and then again, and again, and again. I'll pick up some speed doing that as well. Get the uh, rings and the invincibility box, and ah, off we go. If there's one of the levels, I can never remember where any of the uh, like Super Emerald locations are. I know there used to be one hidden under a set of spikes that you've got to pull, but I never seem to be able to find it. Actually, pull, you can't pull, you got to push. Idiot. Now we play the waiting game. So, across there. Now we wait here. Stop rushing around, so like I did the last time when I didn't have to stand on the spikes themselves. Down, that was safe there. Right, carry on across. Jump over there, because that's the one where the middle one goes down, none of the others do. Jump across. Lovely chap, lay. Spin dash there. Right, wait for you to come back down. Oh, nice gentle nods of Sonic uh, 2. Here we there, let him shoot, and go back. Right there, let him shoot, then go back and just rinse and repeat until he's defeated. You had to do the same thing near the end of Sonic 2 before you ended up on the Death Egg. Well, that was a difficult stage. As a kid, it used to take me a long time to figure out how to do Sonic 2's final boss. And one more should do it. Oh man, that's not actually the boss of this level, that's just an interruption. Now we've got to uh, wait here. And let the platform keep taking us up. Oh, oh not enough speed! Oh, stop, 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 stop! Oh. Bugger! Yeah, that's one of the things, you got to make sure you've got plenty of speed there. If you don't, you'll get crushed just like I did. Got a few more rings. Now we play the waiting game again. Ah, oh, you know what? The waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hunger Hippos instead. Shout out to anyone that actually gets that reference. Oh, let's wait here now. The boss will eventually drop down and then we have to take him on. Probably not that difficult of a boss, you've just got to time your jumps and of course tails. Very useful as always. You can always get the extra hit in for you if you just need it. Like that, see? And there you go. Oh, 
that. Trust me, it'll lose me rings after I defeated him. Oh, typical. Right, jump on air, carry on. Right, onto the sandy level. It's Sandopolis. Yep, Sandopolis. Another uh, couple levels of some interesting ideas put into Sonic 3. Not Sonic 3 and Knuckles, should I say. Again, Act 1 is another one where you don't actually have to fight the boss. You don't touch him at all. In fact, you literally do not have to even physically get near him if you don't want to. But you'll see that for yourself once you get there. These levels can either be really easy or really hard. There's like no in between ground. I just have the advantage of I've played this a lot. So I kind of know the ways. Even like the fact you can jump down here. Go across and then jump down again. I always keep trying to look around. You never know if you could find a hidden ring. I know where one of them is, but it's a case of timing it right. I don't know where there's one on the next act, and it's really annoying to get, because you've got to keep jumping up sand hills, but we'll get to that when we get there. If I can do it. Or remember where it is. Carry on. Up we go. Oh, knock me off. Just what you need. Get my invincibility box and carry on. Up we go. Sorry if uh, my throat does seem a bit more crackly than usual and I'm sniffing a lot more, but uh, I've not lost it to come back from Hard Rock Hill at this point, and I need to say the weather up there was abysmal. So I may have come down with a cold. Just what I want when I start a new job soon. Ah well, rock and roll, eh? Right, jump, jump, get across, get across. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's hit jumping in sand bits, it just take too long. There we go. Keep jumping, keep jumping. There we go. And... Ah, the old zip lines. <laughs> These are fun to use. Bounce around. Oh, watch out for enemies. I want that shield. Yes, that's another example of the down button not working. I kept jumping instead of spinning, which I wanted to do. It's the only way to take those enemies out with the like sand blocks on the head, you've got to spin at them. And from now on the levels do get a lot longer as well, unfortunately, for uh, those who like quick easy levels. At uh, like minimal, like five to six minutes each. I'll do my best to get through them as quickly as possible, but I do expect to uh, start dying a lot soon. Especially when I get to Death Egg. But that may have to be uh, a part of part 3 just because of the fact that this is, uh, like I said, quite a long game and there'll be other parts where I do die a lot as well. And spin out of there. And jump in. Yeah. Hey! Can't play. Yeah, those sand things, because they defy gravity, you know, because reasons. Oh, missed it. Bollocks. But, like I said, said it wasn't an easy one to get. I knew where it was, but just couldn't reach it. This time in jumping everything. Ah, well. Like I said, I will just edit in uh, probably part three of this 
why I love series, just because of that. You don't want to watch me go through the same levels just trying to find the Chaos Emeralds, so I'll just splice them in. Oh, oh bollocks. Got a spike of mess. That's what you got, a little prick. And bounce again over the scorpion. Should be getting near to the uh, to the end of this act. Oh, oh lucky! I thought that was going to crush me. Then, <laughs> lady looks are smiling on me today. Uh, round there, and here we go. Now there are many different tactics to beating this boss, there is actually one where you just keep hitting him and he'll knock back into his own death, but I just choose just to let him kill himself. Because that's the way I roll. Why put the effort in if they'll do it for you? I'll wait for him to spawn out of there. Kill Tails. <laughs> yeah, every time you hit him in the head, it knocks him back. But, if you just stand there and watch him, He'll keep jumping, and eventually he'll fall into the sand on the left there, and that's the boss defeated. So, we'll stand here and wait. Come on. Come on. Two more jumps should do it. I'll put him on the edge. And you want to wait a minute and just get close as you can to him, and then out you get. And that's him defeated without actually touching him whatsoever. Why can't all bosses be as easy as that? Where well, you don't actually have to touch them. Now the reason I collect the rings there is because it forces you into the pyramid for the next, like, zone, so... I uh, can't actually pick anything up in between. So, in we go. Then I don't get any option on that. I like a lot of transitions in these. The thing I like about this uh, mechanic is uh, the game does progressively get darker as you go carry on. You gotta keep hitting these switches here to light it up. But not only that, every time it gets dark, there's uh, certain enemies that start appearing which you are forced to uh, release, which you'll see in just a moment. Go across there. Spin, spin, spin. On we go. There they are. As you can see, I've just released the ghosts. So as it gets darker, more of them start appearing and they get more menacing. If it gets too dark, then, uh, well, basically, they're going to kill you. Remember correctly as well, if you jump up that right hand one there that I first fell down there, or even that one, I think it's one or the other. If you jump up high enough and right to the top, there's actually a, a secret ring there, but it is so annoying and it takes you so long to do. That I've just chosen to leave it on this playthrough. Simply because uh, this level, like I said, most levels at this point they do take a while. Oh, didn't do it in time. Need to push it further across this time instead of just half arsing it like I did just then. Right. And then we'll try again. Push it across. As you can see, as it's getting darker and darker, more of the ghosts are appearing. And once you get to the actual final boss of this area, they'll just all disappear completely no matter how far you are into it. Nope. Oh. Really could have done with staying on that platform. That's going to cost me time, I think. Oh, 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 fuck. If you don't jump off there, then the spike will clip you. But we're back here, so wait for it this time and get across. And now we can just zip line down. Because this is where we needed to be. Oh, oh, push it, push it, push it real good. Oh, light switch. Always remember to turn on the lights. Oh, I think it's just conspiring to stop me from moving forward in this. I've got plenty of time there. Oh, I want to do that. 
There we go. Alright, oops. Boing, boing, spin, 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 boing, boing. That's pretty much the story of this level. Alright, wait for those spikes to move. And they go, go, go. And light switch, of course. Oh, I didn't hit it properly. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just ride the sand as it goes up. This can either be very easy or very difficult. I'm hoping this is one of the easier ones that I do. And again, as you can see, the enemies are getting uh, much more menacing looking. I don't think there's a light switch in the area, which is annoying. Or is there? I can't remember. No, that's not it. Is it? No, that's... Must be over here. There it is. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does the down button have a mind of its own? Well, it killed me then. Yeah, it knocked me back and I was trying to press right and it went down. Definitely going to start using the keyboard instead of that 360 controller. Or maybe test my Xbox One controller and see if that works any better. Cross. Is it hit the switch properly this time? Right, wait again. The freaking game that's like we're supposed to be focused on, you've got to go fast, you've got to go fast, you spend a lot of time waiting. Especially in this one. Right, let's do this prop this time. It's yeah, there we go, that's what you're supposed to do. Not go flying backwards and start rolling. Right switch. Alright, that place here again. Let it take us up the rest of the way. Oh, yeah, let's hop there. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. There quickly, quickly, quickly now, quickly now. There we go. Oh, I just missed that other set ring box. Oh so well. But that's it now. Don't have to worry about rising sands anymore. So frankly, them too. Hit the light switch. Get rid of the enemy. Yeah, those ghosts will try and kill you otherwise if they get too far into the dark. I'm good at taking hits. Oh, I overshot it again. And round and round we go. If you knuckles, you can actually break through those uh, grayish blue blocks. Unfortunately, Sonic can't. Knuckles overall gets the easiest game. I mean, seriously, you play his playthrough and. You can have the whole thing done in less than two hours, I'd say. Maybe a bit longer if you do the 100% completion. Oh, bloody sparks. Go baby. Alright, carry on. And I just want to get down here now. We're not far away from the, uh, the boss of this level. Patient, get across, up there, and use my bouncy pad. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> it's getting dark now. Light switch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thought I had him then. That's what I get for being cocky. Let's hit the light switch again just to be safe. There you go. Oh. More sand, which will actually help us this time. Doesn't try and crush us. <laughs> Plenty of light switches at this point, which is lovely. And there's the secret. <laughs> ah, he's a 
It's always like, really nice and refreshing when you look at it and go, I remember doing these. I used to struggle horrendously doing these and all. <laughs> these days are just a walk in the park. Oh, I say the reason you know I'm here. I'll fail it somehow now. <laughs> oh, because that seems to be uh, near the end now. There's another couple. Jump across there. There we go. Yeah, nice and easy. Lovely jubbly. I got a super emerald. Ding. That's free down. Free down, four to go. I probably can only get another two off the top of my head. Was I accidentally find one? Oh, well, if I remember correctly, this should be the final boss. Mm. Yep, because there go the ghosts. Up on his arm, hit him in the face, and then reveal. If you let that laser build up, it will shoot you. Oh. Again, jolly good to have tails with you. You can take some extra hits on the uh, robotic fire. There we go. There we go, nice and easy. Right, seven minutes for that level. And they're only going to get longer. All around the same time. <laughs> right. Onto the lava reef. Again, the music just phenomenal. Let's see. Make sure you go the right way. It does help. One thing with this level, if you can get yourself a fire shield, you can actually walk on all the lava pits. Makes the level just ridiculously easy. But keeping the lava shield, not as easy. Take that for now. Nice little bundle of rings there. Oh, watch out for those clouds if they catch you. You'll continuously keep taking uh, hits until you either spin dash out of it or until you actually hit the, the uh, thing that actually produced it. Oh. Useful little tidbit for you there. Watch out for them. Ah, the fire shield. Lovely. Ah, the old elevators. Spin to the right, you go up. Spin to the left, you go down. Remember, used to always buggering that up as well. Always used to hit the wrong one first. Yeah, the lava shield. Lava's no problem anymore. Remember him from Sonic 3? <laughs> and if you jump quickly and over, you can get extra life there. Hit the button. There we go. Alright, spin to the right. Go up. Oh, oh yeah, as you can see up there, there's a secret ring. There you gotta do. Take this platform up to its highest peak, and then jump to the right again. And then, in you go! So this will be number four. This one's easy, but uh, can be frustrating, because... As I try and get the uh, little floor ones done early, so I'm not left with them at the end. But I always tend to not be able to find the second four. Oh, nice little triple bounce there. So that's why you want to get the perfect on this as well, because one of those triple bounces can actually land you in the middle of where these balloons are. And if you've only done and got the made them red, it'll take you out of the level. So just keep that in mind. Thirteen more. I've missed one of the fours. There's a four and a nine missing. Let's see if we can find it. Stop walking at the spring. Ah, oh, well, it says the nine anyway. Which means I've got to find a four. Where are you? Hello? 
anybody there? Nope. Just stay calm, don't start panicking. Oh. You can tell when I get a bit twitchy, I start spinning round randomly. It's gotta be around here somewhere, for God's sake. Oh, 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 bloody hell. Good job with springs protecting those uh, red balloons, otherwise. That could have been disastrous. There's the other four. Ah, there it is. Fantastic. That'll do nicely. Another super emerald, please. A nice green one. Ah, oh, have another drink while I'm getting through this section. Remember correctly as well, Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles came out quite quickly after each other as well. I just can't exactly remember way off the top of my head. I think it was around... Uh, 94 this came out, end of 94. I did mention it's Sonic 3 when that came out. But I think it was... Uh, it was early 94 it came out. Yeah, basically within one year you got two games, but they linked onto each other, which made it just brilliant. The only Sonic and Knuckles is it went back to having no uh, no save function like Sonic 3 did. But if you click Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles together, you could save both games. There's a hidden ring down there that I've never been able to get to. And if you saw it in the bottom right corner just then, but In here, I don't think it is. So I've never been able to find it. It was that easy. Just try to keep the shield now ready for the boss. Well, the fight shield isn't that useful for this boss. The next boss it is, though. Take him out. The other good thing about this is, uh, oh, it was meant to drop down there. Get the one up at least. No, oh, no, no! Damn it! Yeah, well, if you once you complete your Sonic 3 on the Sonic 3 cartridge, you actually basically got a level select for it. It's the same with Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you put them together and finish the entire game, the uh, save file you use for it basically becomes a level select. You can tell I'm all the way back here as well now, so not happy. Not an happy chappy. Yeah, I'll show you the level slits obviously once I'm uh, done with the game. Obviously the credits, I'll reset it and just show you what I mean by level select. It is a nifty little thing to have as well. Alright, go through here again. Let's try not failing so badly. I think more games should utilise it. You know, there's a lot of games that do it this day, especially in a Telltale game. Ooh. I was lucky I should have been crushed then. And Telltale games, once you've completed a, an episode, you can go back and play individual chapters, which is really good. There are certain games that give you a but This is like one of the originators that did that. You know, you complete the game, you get a level select, so you can play any of your favourite levels. Oh, Tails in the... Uh, the pink cloud. Oh, <laughs> Tails died. I didn't realise that. I thought Tails was actually losing rings from me. Never knew that could happen. I have to remember that. Watch out for the spin. Oh, bollocks. I'm about to say, watch out for the spinning spiky ball. And I go and walk into it. Oh, take him out. Down, carry on. Oh, spin. Oh, that's why it technically went through me, but you know, hit detection in old games, not that good. There we go. Take care of that. Come in. 
And down we go again. I <laughs> just, just missed that fireball then, thank God. I should take care of that as well. What are these cloud things showing up now? Oh, thank you Tails for hitting the switch for me. Right, I think this is it now. Yeah. Boss of stage, you got to take both of these out. There's also uh, a hand. That's one down anyway. Wait for it. Boom. Go back and hit it. And take these little pea shooters out. There you are. That's just a hand to deal with. Just keep moving left and right. Wait till he stops. Make sure you... Oh! I say make sure you move out from under him when he does stop. And you can uh, just give him a whack. If you can time your jumps right as well, you can actually get double hits on him. I'm calling shenanigans. I was stood right inside his finger then. Dumb game. <laughs> uh, but classic programming for you, what can you do? Watch out for it. Like I said, the bosses did get a bit harder in Sonic and Knuckles as well. Well, the actual fire boss, like I said, is a lot easier if you've got a fire shield, and it actually gives you a fire shield just before you get there. There we go. That's him done and dusted with. Lovely. Oh, time's getting on as well. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna complete this. Well, I will complete it, but not in one more part. I had a feeling it's going to be the case, but uh, we'll look at it and see how it goes. Oh, through there. Watch out for the fire. <laughs> but see, I'm going through the fire and flames at the moment. Wait for the fire to stop. Oh, didn't want to really get stuck in there, but never mind. Spin dash. Oh. Can't get up there, a Sonic. I think you got to be Tails for that one. Don't hit the spring away, it'll just keep sending you back. Wait for it. And then jump. You're gonna have a lot of patience to play some of these levels. Which really don't all I wanna do is run and go fast like you're supposed to in a Sonic game. Oh well. Oh, oh damn it. There we go. Get a precise jump in there, make sure you land between them. Then don't move. That's why you sort of see me tiptoeing at this point now, because uh I don't want to die, I don't want to keep losing my rings. Because you never know what's around the corner, it could be a straight drop. And across, and then across again. There we go. For you. It's also why I'm not uh, taking too many chances trying to squeeze through gaps either, as you can say. Oh, bugger. Get across them, hit the button, and spin dash with a damn cloud thing. Another fun fact, so if you actually play as uh, Knuckles, I don't think you actually fight the boss on this level. I think you just end up in the next section. I said Knuckles really does get the easiest ride. This is the last secret I can remember. Which means I might not be able to find them, so, like I said, I will uh, edit them in 
and then finish the last level all at one go. So at least you do get to see every single uh, Super Emerald being collected without having to watch me replay old levels. The fact that these are never really that difficult. It's more I'll just be quick, because obviously the longer you take the faster Sonic starts going in these, and when you get too fast you get panicky, and that's when the problems start. Eight more to go, which is just here, around here, and then one more, done. Lovely. Now we're 50 minutes since it's recording already. I think I'll probably get up to Sky Sanctuary and uh, probably leave it there in this recording. Just so you all know. And then do that in part three with the Death Egg and the Hidden Zone and the last two Emeralds. The last part will probably be uh, a short recording depending on how many times I die. Of course I won't change anything else, I won't change how uh, you know, I've played the levels and that. If I die, I die. Plain and simple. The only thing I will uh, obviously change is the secret Hidden Zone that's at the very end of this. I'm not going to be Fire Shield. Just because I'm not going to do it as Supersonic and as Hypersonic, so I might as well go back, unlock Hypersonic, then chuck that into the end for you. But you'll see all that in the next episode. For now, let's finish uh, Act 2 of the Lava Reef. Oh, wait for it. Boom. Always got. It's very clever at teaching you stuff, this game. Like, you've got to listen for that noise because it comes useful later on. Oh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I was hoping this one so I could get another shield. Oop. Oh, well, that's not bloody good. Oh, oh, fire shield. That's what I want. Thank you. Leave the level now. That'll do nicely. Just wipe the fire shield. I'm not going to risk any more. Because we're getting quite near the, uh, the boss now. Ooh, steady now. Yeah, we're getting to the, uh, the boss of this section now. I said even if you do lose the fight shield, there are uh, there is a fight shield right there when you get there. Still, it does it, and on the platforms. And there we go. Okay, so just climbing up constantly. You do need to take your time at this point as well. Unless you've got little bits like that there that you could mess up on. But once you hear that music, don't worry. Damn you, Robotnik. Why we uh unless you gotta be careful. Take your time, don't panic. Start panicking, you're gonna die. Just keep jumping up. Be very quick on the draw to jump. Checkpoint. Well, this bit can be difficult. Oh. Oh. And there we go. And basically ride it down now. Cut the rings if you need them. I'm just doing it for fun. I'll show you where the fire shield is just there. Shield on the left. There's a fun shield on the right, but there's absolutely no point in having that, and it really doesn't help you in the boss. Fire shield looks as you can see, you stand on lava. Right? Am I supposed to stand here? Uh, come on, the boss should have shown up by now. Is it over here? Oh, it's over here. I'm an idiot. Spend all that time over there. So he'll throw uh, bombs at you. Again, this is another boss that you do not touch whatsoever. You uh, just let the bombs do the work for you. As long as you just take your time, there shouldn't be any trouble. And be very careful not to lose your fire shield, because uh, if you lose your fire shield, 
it becomes a very difficult boss. Take time, jump across. Jump. Oh! Bollocks. This is where things are going to go wrong. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh man, but I'm pretty sure this is the last bit as well. Jump. I knew I was going to bloody fail once I lost that fire shield. But if you start here, just be quick on the draw if you do die, because straight away, gotta get across. Right. We'll go across here. Pick up some rings. Get that fire shield I was talking about earlier. And then we can just drop down. And ride the path on. Can't believe I did that. I say, oh, it's an easy boss as long as you got a fire shield. And <laughs> I go bloody die, don't I? Well, that's what you get for being cocky, kids. Definitely play a bit slower and a bit safer this time. Be careful now. Hopefully uh, the next section, in the next part of the, uh, well the next level, is actually very short. So we'll probably do that and like I said we'll call it there just before the Sky Sanctuary Zone. Now, what's alright, is this actually the last bit of the battle? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Fair enough then. <laughs> There he goes. And I get an extra life as well for my score. That'll do nicely. The poor observance of you will uh, realise what this place, next place is. Let's see how many have paid attention. Welcome to the Hidden Palace Zone. Excuse me, sorry about that. Up we go. Nothing over there. There is stuff higher up in this level, but only Tails can get there and only just. There's no really point in doing it unless you can get Super Sonic. Oh, time for a mini boss. Hello, Knuckles. Oh, bloody hell. It's all about taking your time, really, and I'm trying to rush through it. Oh. Oh, I... I'll take my time this time, I promise. <laughs> if you rush, that's when problems start. Right. And jump over. Jump on his noggin. Hit the tail end of him when he's flying, that's what he's supposed to do. Like that. Makes just don't touch his fist. There you go, he's been beaten. Oh, what's that? Shock, horror. Oh, look, it's the Super Emerald with the Master Emerald in the middle. And Robotnik's trying to steal it. Yes, Knuckles, you've been tricked. But I do like because you can actually see which ones I've already got. Knuckles has finally learned the error of his ways and uh, realizes you can't trust Robotnik. Yeah. Now he decides to help us. I've taken us up to the top of Sky Sanctuary and activated the teleporter. I am going to leave it here though. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Richard James from the Northern Drunk Tank. See you in part three when we finally finish Sonic 3 and Knuckles.